Hey everybody, Jonathan Finnoff here. Boy, it's been quite a year. Just moved out to Colorado. Became the chief medical officer for the United States Olympic and Paralympic Committee. Helps Team USA navigate the pandemic. And most recently, led our medical efforts at the Summer Olympic and Paralympic Games. All of this culminated in me receiving the Passover Legacy Award, which has been just an amazing honor. I'm humbled to be in the company of such people as Monica Rowe, Sheila Dugan, Mike Furman, Heidi Prather, Joanne Borgstein, Venu Akathoda, Gwen Soa, Joel Press, Jerry Malanga, Mike Fredrickson, Bob Wilder, and Jay Smith, all of whom I just have so much admiration for, who've been prior award winners. I would like to thank all of these individuals and the AAPMNR for paving the way for all of us to have the opportunities to achieve our dreams in this amazing specialty. And last but most important, I'd like to thank my, <laughs> my family who have been amazing and we're so happy. And they, they got me where I need to be. I'd like to thank the Academy for awarding me the Distinguished Member Award in 2021. I'd like to thank the members who nominated me and the awards committee for choosing me. I'd like to remind all members all medical students and residents, that it's very important to be involved in the legislative process, both at the state and national level. Get to know your state legislator and your congressman. It's important that they get input from people who are in the field working as physicians so that the laws and rules and legislation that they pass is in the best interest of patient safety and best patient care. Be involved, be members of your organizations and educate the legislators. Thank you. I am honored and humbled to accept this AAPMNR Distinguished Member Award. Thank you to everyone responsible for this recognition, especially to Dr. Coriander Williams who nominated me, but also to the AAPMNR Awards Committee who selected me. I'm deeply grateful to everyone who has shared this PMNR journey with me over the last 36 years at the University of Arkansas for Medical Sciences and at the Baptist Health Rehabilitation Institute, as well as many other places across the country. And my special thanks to my wife, Barbara, to my entire family and friends for their love and support over the years. And again, thank you very much. Hello, I'm Dr. Monica Verdusco Gutierrez from UT Health San Antonio. I really want to thank the Academy. I am very honored to receive this Distinguished Member Award. But thanks to the AAPMNR for helping me on this road to leadership. Thank you for the people who introduced me to this wonderful field since I did not hear about it before I uh, went into medical school. And also for the women and the mothers in medicine and in PMNR who served as my role models. I want to thank my parents who just instilled the love for education and service, even not being in medicine themselves. I wanna thank my very patient spouse and children for supporting me even for the hours that I'm not at home. I wanna thank my faculty and trainees who try, drive me to be a better leader and to my patients who keep me passionate about serving and giving back. A uh, quick advice, I want to, you to continue to remember why you went into this field to fuel yourself to continue to give back. Um, please also continue to sponsor junior faculty and trainees and students and continue to support our academy. You rise by lifting others. Thank you so much. Hello, this is Dr. Maurice Scholes coming to you from the historic Maroney Stoop in New Orleans, Louisiana. And I am honored to be a 2021 recipient of the Community Service Award. Thank you very much to the Academy, the American Academy of Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation. And thank you to all the people who partnered with me, encouraged me and worked with me to make my community a better place. New Orleans, the South, the United States and the world deserve you. They deserve your time. They deserve your attention and they deserve your passion. Um, I hope you join me in accepting that challenge. And I hope you join me in making your community vibrant and wonderful. Hi, I'm Kate Sully, and I want to thank the Academy for the Distinguished Public Service Award this year. I'm thankful for all my colleagues, past and present, 
who have supported and mentored me. And I'm especially grateful to our veterans, our nation's heroes, who inspire me every day to continue serving others. Hello, this is Lisa McCorkle from the Patient-Led Research Collaborative. On behalf of PLRC, we want to say thank you so much for the incredible honor of the Distinguished Public Service Award. We are very grateful to the Academy, not only for the award, but also for organizing the PASS Collaborative and for all of their advocacy on behalf of people with long COVID. We'd also like to thank Body Politic, all of our allies in the disability and chronic illness communities, Ed Young, University College London, all PLRC members, and of course, all people with long COVID. Thank you so much for your support. I so very much wish we could be meeting in person so I could directly congratulate the other award winners and express in person my profound gratitude for receiving the Frank H. Cruzen MD Lifetime Achievement Award. My brief comments will be more words of thanks. First, thank you to Dr. Flanagan, the Awards Committee and the Academy. While I have been privileged to be recognized over the years, this is the highest and most unexpected award of my career. Frankly, I was stunned. Once I accepted that I was the 2021 recipient, I immediately wondered why. And then I recalled some comments from an extraordinary physician from the University of Michigan, Dr. O, Dr. Okunlami. I heard him speak of his accomplishments and let me take what he said and apply it to my situation. So why the Cruzen Award for me? Well, I've been active as a team physician for many years trying to show that we have a seat at that table, but I was not the first. Dr. Cruzen himself served as a team physician at Temple University in 1915. I've tried to demonstrate the value of a physiatric approach to sports medicine, but I'm not the only one to do so. There have been many physiatrists who have shown the world what we have to offer. So I'm not the first, and I'm not the only, and I'm certainly not the best. I have been surrounded by talent and support my whole career, and I have benefited greatly from it. So I am grateful that the Academy has decided that the sum total of my life's work merits this recognition. And for that honor, I need to thank Dr. Cruzen and all the Titans who built a specialty of physiatry, a specialty that focuses on helping each individual live their fullest and best life, an approach that works wonderfully, effectively, and uniquely in the world of sports medicine. The next set of thanks goes to the mentors, friends, and healthcare professionals who have shaped me. And please excuse me as time does not allow for nearly a complete listing, but just a few. Carl Klein, Fela Helm, the faculty of the Rehabilitation Medicine Department during my residency, Michael Dillingham, Joel Press, Ben Kibler, Margot Patukian, David Koppel, Stu Weinstein, Sandy Thompson, the Leistets, and Richard Adler. Even more important to thank are the patients who have entrusted their care in me, who let me in and amaze me with their resilience, courage, and life stories. You have taught me so much, and I am humbled. And most importantly, thanks to my family, who have lived with someone who has been blessed with a burden. I have had the privilege of following my passion, of heeding my calling, in a profession which is not always easy, and for me, frequently distracting and consumptive. My wife Betsy, children Tracy and Nathan, my sister Joyce and my brother Ralph have understood, supported, and indulged me. I thank them for their endless affection, tolerance, and acceptance. And I thank the Academy once again for this most meaningful award.